What is going on everybody? How are my fine friends on YouTube doing? Junior with SOT Metalworks coming at you with another video. Today we're doing a couple different things. Cutting out a new sign and we're testing and tuning on some paint. Uh, we can run across a new color on our uh, metallic paint and we want to see how it's going to turn out. So let's get into it, get this customer sign cut out and see just how this one works out. Uh, you never know. Could be a fail. I got a feeling it turns out pretty good. All right, let's get into it. Ladies and gents, there you go, straight off the table. The Shop Saber CNC Plasma Table did a fine, outstanding job on the Glock Girl sign. Going to do this in some pretty, uh, pretty cool colors. I got a little bit of cleanup to do on this with the wire wheel. We'll get this sign etched out uh, side. Get some etching material on it. Get the mill scale off of it. Get it all cleaned up. Get it back in here. Get some primer on it. See what happens. But uh, you guys, stick with us. It's uh, maybe a new color. Maybe a new color. We'll see how it turns out. All right, on the Glock girl. Getting her all dolled up. Getting a little etching solution on there. The old magical solution. Get this mill scale off here so we can get this metallic color on there and see what happens. All right, ladies and gents, we are back at it. We are back on the Glock girl. Got the uh, front side all done up in a uh, nice shiny gloss black. Uh, you guys know how I love gloss black. But I think this one is going to be one of those deals. That's what we're going to have to have. But, not sure if I recorded getting the paint on there. Kind of want to make it a surprise for you guys. So, the paint on the Glock Girl front here. It's a new paint. We're trying to see if it's going to work out or not. It's kind of a pinkish, purplish color. We're going to, we're going to say it's pink. Uh, it Our purple is really purple compared to this. So, I think this will... Uh, Substitute for us, maybe a metallic pink. Uh, you guys let us know in the comments down what you think because I'm not sold on it just yet. So, so we we will see. We will see what happens there. So here's the big reveal. We'll see what's going on. You guys ready? As you can see, we've got our new double-sided Gorilla Tape on the backside, and this stuff is awesome so far. So, all right, here we go with a big reveal on the paint color. Yeah. Oh, let's turn it right side up, why don't we? Yeah, so. Not sure about this color yet. Let me get this uh, posted up in here. And we'll go over this a little bit. Somebody had a very fine, outstanding idea of using popsicle sticks to slide up under here to get my piece all squared away. I just ain't got my popsicle sticks yet. Look 
gonna go with that and see what happens. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm sold on it or not. Ah, I'm kind of torn on this one. All right, you guys are gonna have to bear with the lighting just a little bit till we get her over in the photo booth, but eh, not not too shabby, not too shabby. What you guys think? What you guys think? Not uh, not bad. All right, so this paint is the. Hold on, let's get the can. We'll show you. Let's go to the uh, fine house standing metal cabinet here. Let's grab the other one too. Or uh, paint cabinet. I don't know why I said metal cabinet the plastic paint cabinet so this is the Krylon shimmer metallic candy brass uh looks really really pink on the cap it's close it's close a little darker than i thought it'd be but it is close not not bad on the uh on the pink but here is what we use as our purple stuff you guys know we use our old metal cast Dupa color, whoo, high dollar, high dollar. And I'll be honest, I had to order this online because our local supplier didn't have theirs. Uh, this stuff is not uh, cheap either. All right, so um, this shimmer paint, I'm not sure if I like it or not. Got a good shine to it, good sheen. Uh, didn't do too bad. It's got a little dirt in it, and I think a lot of that, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's got a lot of dirt in it. I'm, I know it's not the cleanest paint shop in the world. I got it, I understand. But I noticed it when I was spraying it, and I think a lot of that, if you guys look in there, uh, there's a lot of that glitter in there that always causes problems with that metal flake glitter type stuff every time you're trying to paint an aerosol can. But I don't know that 100% sure. Uh, if this was uh, had a little more time on this one, I would do a little different, maybe sand everything down a little harder. Do some tests and see if it did it again. See what happened. I mean, I'm going to run some more trials and, and stuff on it and see. But hopefully this customer is happy with this product and we get her on down the road. I think it, it's it's good for what I charged it for because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. So not too terrible. Not too terrible. All right. Let's get this one over for photo booth. See what happens. Take a few pictures. You just never know. Yeah. All right, ladies and gents, here we are back in the photo booth again, once again, having a fine outstanding looking sign in here. That's what I'm talking about. So, yes, this was some new paint. Um, not sure if we'll utilize this, put it in our repertoire or what we're going to do. think it really, really is turning out to be a fairly pink sign. Uh, like I said before in the video, you guys leave us a comment down there and let us know. I know it's got a little stronger purple in it than I'd like. I'd like it to be more fluorescent pink, maybe uh, just just have a little more, a little more pink to it. But I think this is a really good option. I'm sure this color is going to go over well. I'm just not sure. You guys know I I, I showed the uh, some of the dirtiness of it. I, of course, uh, just got dust all over a while ago, so it's it's really dirty now. But it, it is dry, so I can wipe that off. But the glitter or metallic coming out of that uh, spray can never really seems to give a good flush straight finish, but that's just kind of part of it sometimes. Sometimes you uh, give up a little bit of that to get the color you're after. And this is a pretty cool color. And if you know what you're getting, it is not, not a bad deal whatsoever. It painted really well for Krylon. Uh, you guys know I'm not a big fan of Krylon, but this one painted fairly straightforward. Couldn't couldn't ask for much better. So yeah, you guys leave us a comment down there to let us know what you think. But we're gonna cut on out of here. This has been the Glock Girl Sign by SOT Metalworks. If you need anything like this, look us up SOTMetalworks.com. Shoot us an email, shooters option targets at gmail.com. Or catch us on Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that. You guys will get the uh, first updates if you go over there and subscribe to that stuff. So all right, we're going to cut on out of here. Hopefully everybody's thinking, being safe. And as always, you guys remember, you need to work smarter, not harder. We'll catch y'all.